It is the regular season, and it is time to bring in the tried and true staple. If you want the Cowboys to beat the Browns in week one of the NFL regular season, then like this video. We have the data that proves it. The more likes we get, the more likely it is the Dallas Cowboys win this week, er, their individual matchup. So don't be the reason why the Cowboys lose. Like that video for me right now. Cowboys on the road against the Browns in week one. A couple different lines have been out there, but the one over on BetUS is Browns minus one. You can see it high in, in, in the two, two and a half at some other spots out there. But either way, the Browns are favored as they host the Dallas Cowboys in week one up in Cleveland. Cowboys were better last year. They had the number one scoring offense, number five scoring defense. The Browns' scoring defense numbers were low deceptively because the offense actually had some major issues. Um, you know, their EPA numbers are, are much higher in that regard, which I think does carry some fairly significant value in things that, can, that should be considered. They should be better this year. We'll see how Deshaun Watson plays. We'll talk about that there. But Browns are favored in Week 1 against the Dallas Cowboys. So... Before we preview the game, injury report, keys to watch, etc., let's troll our Browns report host. His name is Matthew Peterson. I want you to spam FPD in the comment section. Whoever comments FPD the most gets a free raffle entry into our week one jersey giveaway. So everyone in the comments, spam FPD. If an ad comes here on YouTube, it's a great time for it. Take advantage. Head down there and flood the comment section by spamming FPD. And I want to send Petey this, this, this screenshot of all the comments. Uh, injury report is not going to be officially put out till Wednesday. The six names to monitor, they all got at least some limited work in on Monday, so good news there. Brandon Cook said the knee personal stuff heading in the right direction. Wanye Thomas back at practice from his groin injury. Israel Mukwamu is back with was undisclosed, also might have been a groin. Uh, Zach Martin has a little tweaked ankle, but he seems to be fine there. Being paid cautious was the line there from Big Mike. Demario Nobishone's hip, been back for a little bit there. Damone Clark's knee, he got back as well. So, knock on wood, nothing changes, but the vibes from the Cowboys is that they're all trending in the right direction from their uh, injury perspective, which is a big deal since the Browns are a bit nicked up. Guys like Jedrick Wills might not play at tackle. But Cowboys most healthy, minus, of course, Deron Bland, who we know is not going to play. So keys to victory between the Cowboys and the Browns. Number one, you got to protect Dak Prescott. And that is no easy task, given what is going to be opposite one of your tackles. The Cowboys starting five offensive lines going to be Tyler Guyton, Cooper Beebe, and Zach Martin. The very challenging task for the Dallas Cowboys is blocking one of the best football players in the game. That is Miles Garrett, the Browns pass rusher, whose numbers dipped last year as he battled some injuries. He played through them and was also still really friggin' good. They have guys like Zedarius Smith and Alex Wright and some rotational pieces along the defensive line. If you're building a list of premier passers in, in football, whether they're 1-2, one, 2-3, two, two, one, whatever, 1-2, 2-1, Miles Garrett and Micah Parsons are on that list. It is a dynamic pass rushing group. Maybe it's against Tyler Guyton. Maybe it's against Terrence Steele. I would not sleep on, I, I, I would probably lose sleep on how to protect Dak Prescott against Miles Garrett. They should probably chip with tight ends. If the Browns are smart, they'll be moving Miles Garrett around. They did stuff over center with him last year too. I would not be surprised, first, third, and long, Miles Garrett to stand up passenger right over the face of Cooper Beebe. That is not a fun place to be. So protecting Dak Prescott and not letting Miles Garrett destroy your offensive game plan is probably task number one for the Cowboys offense. Now, today's show is made possible by Game Time. Game Time is the place for last minute tickets on your next big event. They have a new feature called Game Time Picks that makes you tickets to see your favorite teams play live even easier. Game Time Picks filters out all the fluff to only show you the incredible deals on great seats so you don't have to waste time searching through thousands of tickets. They're only going to show you 
the very best of the deals that Game Time has to offer. And the Game Time guarantee means you'll always get the best price. If you find tickets in the same section and row for less, Game Time will credit you 110% of the difference. So if you haven't already, go download the Game Time app over at GameTime.co. Create your account. Use code CHATSPORTS for $20 off your first purchase. Terms apply. But again, create your account. Redeem code C-H-A-T-S-P-O-R-T-S. That's CHATSPORTS for $20 off. Download Game Time today because what time is it? It's Game Time. Maybe your number one task on defense is to stop the run. Uh, even without Nick Chubb, he is not going to play today for the Cleveland Browns, uh, or Sunday for the Cleveland Browns. I would fully expect that you see a heavy dose of ground game work. That means Jerome Ford, that means Pierre Strong, and Deonta Foreman as well. The Browns can run the football. They've always been able to run the football pretty well under Kevin Stefanski. That is the offensive design. The, their O-line injuries could be a red flag, but if, you're, but if you are the Browns, isn't your mindset going to be, hey, let us try to run the ball against a shaky run defense? You'll see Oso de Izua, Mozzie Smith, Jordan Phillips, I assume Linval Joseph will be good to go after he kind of gets ramped up to speed after missing all of training camp there. It's a shaky front four for Dallas on the, in terms of run stoppers. It's Tank Lawrence and a bunch of question marks still, frankly. Some better linebacker play, I think, is going to help you. But I, the Browns like to control the football. They, they want to run the ball. They want to protect their own quarterback for different reasons than the Cowboys want to keep Dak Prescott upright. We'll get to that in a little bit. But I bet they try to run the ball right up the middle. Heavy personnel. See if the Mike Zimmer changes have worked. I want you guys to predict the score for me of the Cowboys against the Browns. I'll get to my score prediction later on in today's video. But take advantage, score prediction in the comment section right now. Number three is pressure massage boy Deshaun Watson. Watson under pressure, the last time he's been able to play football, has not been very good. Now, most quarterbacks take a step back under pressure. It's, it's, it's harder, simply. It, it, it is harder. Under pressure last year per next-gen stats, Completed under 45% of his passes, 5.6 yards per attempt, two touchdowns, one interception. Most critically, he took 17 sacks in six games. That's a lot. Deshaun Watson doesn't handle pressure well. His pocket movement is kind of panicky, and he, he drifts, and he makes mistakes, and he does stupid stuff sometimes under pressure. So if you can get after him, he will make mistakes. He has done that time and time again as the Browns QB. He frankly has been bad in Cleveland. Make me look smart, Dallas. Make Deshaun Watson make a bunch of mistakes. Force that pressure. We will be live for the Cowboys against the Browns. Our live show will start at 3 p.m. Eastern time. So well before kickoff, we'll have some fun. Hit that sub button, youtube.com slash at Cowboys T. Number four, MVP or MVP runner-up, Dak Prescott returns, and you don't get the slow starts that you've battled fairly consistently in big games, which we will spend plenty of time talking about at different points throughout this season. Objectively speaking, in the regular season, Dak Prescott was awesome. I still think he probably should have won MVP over, over Lamar Jackson, and maybe if your defense could have gotten a stop against the Dolphins, they would have. Either way, not like second-team All-Pro is bad. But in the biggest games, this entire team has a tendency to start pretty slowly. Not just Dak, but he's a big part of that. Has to be better. I want to see the good version of Dak. I would actually argue, from your overall roster construction, the Browns' defense is probably better. I think they're, they have a better head coach than Kevin Stefanski. Because of their offensive line injuries, you might have the advantage there. You have the better number one receiver, but the playmakers overall could slightly favor just barely the Browns. The ground game is better. The biggest reason why we probably have some confidence in Dallas being able to beat Cleveland is the difference in quarterback play. Dak's a top 10 quarterback no matter what. Sean Watson wasn't a starting caliber QB last year. He was pretty bad. You get good Dak and bad Deshaun, Dallas wins that game. 
Now, it also requires you to not be stupid. And it, look, it is week one. It's going to be sloppy. There's going to be mistakes. There's going to be turnovers and stuff. There will probably also be penalties. The NFL penalty leaders from 2023. The Jets were number one, 124 flags for 945 yards. But Dallas was number one in total penalty yardage, nearly 1,000. That's really bad, guys. And the Browns were also tied, I guess, I gave the edge to Dallas with the penalty uh, yardage there. 815 flags as well. This might be a sloppy football game with, with a lot of penalties. Hopefully, Dallas doesn't make as many as they normally do. So we're bringing it back this year again. Bully the Dallas Cowboys into committing fewer penalties. Spam flags for me in the comment section of today's show. Bully those Cowboys. If this game were played in week four, I would pick the Dallas Cowboys to beat the Cleveland Browns. In week one, I don't like that matchup. Now, I'll, I'll probably take the money line on principle. But my actual prediction, I, I, do, I do think the, the Browns have the advantage here with the timing, being at home, and an offensive line that still hasn't actually played a real game together against Miles Garrett. That scares me. I still think this is a 10-win football team. I don't like the matchup in week one. So prove me wrong, Dallas. Take care of business and beat the crap out of the Browns, which I got a bunch of family who's Browns fans. My mother-in-law is a big Browns fan. I don't want to deal with that. So please win the game and prove me wrong.